Man, being a Sith Lord just isn't the same nowadays. So as you can see, as the title above, um, I'm giving Marvel Legends collector tips. Um, I like doing this with my hands a lot to emphasize everything. Um, so uh, I got some tips for you guys um, on how to collect Marvel Legends and uh, what's good, what's not, what to do. Uh, a lot of these are questions that I've answered before and I thought i just make a video about it. Um, I forget who gave me the idea, but it was someone. So uh, I've got my paper here, and I'm ready to give you guys the rundown. So rule number one. One of the biggest things about collecting Marvel Legends is um, you, you're supposed to collect what you like. You don't collect the, the biggest or the rarest figure um, because everyone else has it. you gotta, you got to collect that biggest, rarest figure because you want it. You can't just you can't just go around looking for a dead bull because everyone else has got one. You gotta you gotta go and want a dead bull because you love Deadpool. Um, I still haven't even found one, you guys. I mean, I don't even have one yet. So uh, going to Comic Con, I'm gonna purchase one. Um, another big thing is buy your figures in bulk. Now when I say bulk, I mean buy your figures in mass quantities. When I say mass quantities, I mean buy a lot of figures. Don't buy single figures. That's just a waste of money unless they're really hard to find figures like Deadpool, Juggernaut, Red Hulk, Galactus, something like that. You buy those as singles. You don't buy Luke Cage and Captain Marvel singly. You gotta buy them in bulk. So that's another big thing. Don't. If you're gonna trade, trade in bulk. I don't trade anymore but if you're trading with the other people on YouTube, trade in bulk like I said. It saves a lot of time. You might get a figure or two you don't want, but you know what? What's wrong with having extras? So, uh, another big thing is organize your collection. Make your collection very presentable. Don't want to... Who likes a sloppy collection? All your figures thrown up against the wall, none of them standing. That's the, It just doesn't look good. You can... You can um, just, you just organize them, you know, put them up, stand them up, make them look good, put them in cool poses. I don't know, this is a pose, by the way. This, I guess this would be a Quicksilver pose. So yeah, pose them, make them look nice. Another thing, set them up accordingly. You know, you can set them up however you want, but set them up by teams, set them up by heroes, set them up by villains, set them up by your personal favorites. That's how I have mine set up. I have an Avenger set up, which is right here. Boom, boom, boom. If you could see that, I have an X-Men set up, which is farther that way, which you can't see, but now you can. Set them up accordingly. My favorites are down there. Those are my favorites right down there. So set them up to where they go with each other or they make you feel good when you go and look at them because the whole reason we put them up anyways is to make ourselves feel proud of what we've done right so uh yeah definitely do that another thing if you're gonna buy your figures for an investment that's fine there's nothing wrong with that you want to make money in the future go ahead but for uh someone like me i collect my figures because i love collecting them i love the the hunt or, or, you know, I love looking for them. I love opening them up and touching them, even though that sounded completely wrong. No homo. Um, the thing, I, the reason I started collecting action figures is because I loved comics. I've loved comics since when I was a little kid and I saw Spider-Man on TV. I've, I've just loved them. And there's something about a comic where you just can't, you can't, it's a page. You can't really grab a hold of that character or anything like that. No homo, like I said. So that's why I started collection action figures. Just being able to sort of have that character in my hand. It's 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 such an important thing. Um so like that. Um when you get your figures, open your figures. Set them up. You know, you got extras, then you can leave them in the boxes and on the wall. I have a couple in the box. Um so like I said, open your figures. Or don't open your figures. It's whatever, whichever one you want, like. But if you see that character in the box and you're like, ah, I can't open it, but 
it would be so much fun opening it, that's when you definitely need to open it, alright? Unless it's like one of a kind or something like that. Anyways, open your figures. And uh, the last tip I'm going to give you today is please be careful with your figures. I can't tell you how many ones I've opened and they have broken. Ant-Man, broken when I opened him. Moved his leg the wrong way, broke. You can tell by the layout of the figure. If the figure's really light, it means he's gonna, he's pretty easy to break. If the figure's pretty heavy, it means he's not that easy to break, but that doesn't mean you could throw him around the room and stuff like that. Juggernaut, I broke one of my Juggernaut's legs off. I super glued the other one on, and then I recently got another one, but you gotta be careful. All right, you guys, because yeah, let's. You look for this figure for months. You look for Ted Deadpool for months and months. You finally get him. You snap his arm off. All gone. Be careful. All right. Be careful with the figures. So, uh, thanks, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. I have sort of a black eye. I was at Baskin Robbins and some dude thought I was looking at his girlfriend wrong and he punched me in the face. I didn't even do anything. But his girlfriend was pretty hot. Um. So, uh. Thanks, you guys. Um, put down in the comments if you got any other tips. Um, so, thanks a lot, guys. Subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand. Um, so, a thousand subscribers, that is. Give me video ideas. Um, you can go on my email, which is right here. Um, you can just type that in above in your URL or whatever. So, thanks, you guys.